Hi, this is Brian. We're back in my garage taking a look at two products from Mavit uh, that I've been waiting for for quite a while. Um, and that is the floor liners and the rear seat cover, uh, which we're going to show you here in a second. But let's start with the floor liners. The ones from Ford, um, they're, they're okay. They're pretty good. Um, I didn't mind them. They're a little bit floppy and they don't really come up very high um, to hold all the water and things inside. Plus the rear one comes in two pieces, um, which I didn't like. I wish it was one piece. But you can see that the Mavit ones, they cover a lot more area. I know it's kind of hard to tell from the video, but they do cover a lot more area than the ones from Ford. So I've been waiting for these for a while. I'm pretty glad uh, that they're here and I'm pretty excited to get them installed. Uh, so let's take a look at the second product. All right, here we are looking at product number two. This is the rear seat covers. Now, a lot of people on the forums have been complaining that the back seats of Bronco are covered in carpet. I didn't like it either because when my dogs go back there or I put gear back there, it only seems to collect fur and collect uh, just basic dirt. I'm always having to vacuum it off. Um, these covers Velcro onto the back of those to uh, get them uh, protected so you don't have to deal with that issue anymore. So let's go ahead and install these and then we're going to install the floor liners. And then when we're done, we should have a fully protected uh, interior floor and back seat of the Bronco. Okay, here we are inside the Bronco, uh, taking a look at how we're going to put these in. Uh, you can see it comes with some pretty heavy-duty uh, Velcro here. that goes all the way around the outside and a couple pieces here. So all you do is you line up the holes. Get these holes here. You just push down. Now it's important that you do this. Once you get them installed, you have to lift this flap and put the mat underneath the flap. If you don't, when your seat comes up, the whole thing's gonna kind of bunch up. So it's important that you lift this flap and stick these top ones down underneath that flap. Okay, here's the second piece. These lines here go on the bottom side because that's where the bendy side is. Stick that right on there. Now let's do the other side. Same thing. Take your piece. Line up the holes, push it down, it's pretty sticky Velcro. Lift the flap, push it down again, over the flap, your piece. Once again, the lines go on the bottom side. And there you go. Okay, let's put the seats up. Put up the other side. There you go. On there, it matches the floor liners we're about to put in. Uh, nothing binds up or anything down here in this lower section. Everything just goes on nicely and it's really, really it's really, really tacky. So anyway, let's go ahead and install the floor liners. Okay, here we are on the driver's side. Let's go ahead and get this floor liner installed. Perfect. Perfect fit. Those snap right on, just like they're supposed to. Easy. And I like this because the floor liners go all the way up under the pedals, and the ones from Ford, they don't. Now, you still have carpet behind your gas pedal. These ones go all the way up and you can see the lip comes up higher right here. So that way, if you have any snow or anything that melts, it'll hold liquids and things in here. So I like that. Let's go ahead and put the passenger side on. Okay. Let's go ahead and put the passenger side on. Okay. Once again, perfect fit. Little snap snap right on where they're supposed to. Very nice. Let's put the back in. Okay, let's go ahead and put the back in. All right, perfect fit. Looks good. A lot more coverage than I had with the Ford ones, a lot sturdier. 
I like the fact that it does match the back panels that cover the back seat. Um, very nice, very attractive. Uh, yeah, let's uh, step out of the Bronco here and give some final thoughts. Okay, let's give some final thoughts here. Uh, there's the rear seat cover, which matches the rear floor covers, which matches the front covers. Very nice products. Everything looks the same. Everything snaps right in place. Everything's cut to fit exactly where it should be. Um, yeah, everything worked flawlessly. Uh, I've been looking forward to getting these products uh, for geez, a couple of weeks now. And now that I have them, I've been dying to get them installed. So now that they're installed, I'm a pretty happy camper. Um, I'll put a link, a couple of links below on where you can find these on Amazon. These are by Mavit, and I highly recommend them. So hopefully this helps you out.